Hi, I'm Sylvia Garenzak and I'm a Jamo and independent distributor. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for tuning back in. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So this manicure is about a week old. I figured it's time to put some holly jolly on these nails. So I just did this and I'm going to cover how to do this really easily with you on this hand. This is my non-dominant hand. So we'll see how the snowflake goes because uh, snowflakes and me don't get along. <laughs> Anyways, just as a uh, base, I have Red Rebel as a base here. I have three coats here. It's a beautiful color with, with big sparkles in here. And then I have uh, Strawberry Daiquiri as a base here, but with the Quasar Chrome on top because red chrome, oh my gosh, looks fantastic. So how about we get right to it? So I'm going to start with the easier <laughs> finger. <laughs> Let's leave the hardest for last, shall we? I just using the short striper brush from the gel moment kit. I think it's number 12 if I have to like my, my brushes are older, so they don't uh, they don't have the numbers on here. Oh, and here's a little quick tip. All of our brushes are covered with this little plastic piece. Just put it on the end so you're not looking for them afterwards. Anyhow, okay, so I just have some lovey dovey here. I'm just coating all of my bristles. I'm going to do some candy cane stripes or present stripes, whatever you want to call it. See what I'm doing here? I'm actually rolling my finger. I'm keeping the brush in place and I'm rolling my finger because this is my non-dominant hand. My left hand is not my nice hand <laughs> to be able to control the lines. And so I'm just rolling my hand rolling my finger because I have more control this way as opposed to trying to do the straight lines this way. So now I'm just going to get in on the edges there. Hey, and we're not going to cure this. We are gonna bring over this little cachet system and this, this crystalline uh, shimmer powder, which I am in love with. It can be used for so many different looks. I've been looking for something like this and I was kind of hoping that this would be released for Christmas. And here it is, even though it was released a while ago, but now I can apply it to my Christmas look. So now you just place your finger over top and let's pour some crystalline shimmer over top. You want to make sure that you have full coverage. So just put a whole bunch on there. Don't worry because you can actually pour any kind of excess that you have right back into the pod. Tap the excess off. And we're going to place this under the lamp for a full cure. Now that that is fully cure, I have this handy dandy dust brush and I will place the link for it below so you can get it. And I just basically rub all of the excess off into my cache system so I can get as many of the sparkles back as possible. Next up, I just have a little bit of mixture here of the white stamping gel and lovey dovey so that it doesn't, it's not so runny because our polish does such a fantastic job at self leveling. And I'm going to paint a tiny thin line besides these thicker lines on our candy cane or present wrapping, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to roll my finger to control the line. And we'll give that a full cure. Now let's do the tricky part. The snowflakes and I just don't get along. I don't know what it is. If you have, if you struggle with snowflakes just as much as I do, drop a comment below. I'd love to know because <laughs> then I know I'm not the only one. So let's give it a shot. The great thing is that snowflakes, no two are the like. So if it doesn't match the other one, I'm going to be completely okay with that because I just want a decent looking snowflake. So let's start with one dot in the middle and then we'll do one top one up here and one over here. So now we have a line this way, okay? Next, we're gonna be doing a dot kind of in the middle between here and the midpoint, just moving over to the bit to the side. And then we're going to go parallel and do a dot that way, okay? Now we're gonna do parallel to this line here and parallel to this line or to this dot here, create a little line. And that looks good. That looks kind of even, that looks kind of even. So now let's uh, draw our lines, shall we? You know what, what I'm going to do, maybe I'll do uh no, no, no. I was gonna say maybe you should do a flash cure because I kind of like the dots. Maybe we'll do a flash cure so that if I mess this up, then I don't have to do the dots all over again, right? Trying to make this as easy as possible. So I'm just flash curing off to the side of my lamp for about 
six seconds here. Five, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so now technically those dots, they should be okay if we mess up with the lines. So now we're just taking a thin brush here and I'm going to join the lines. Okay, so far so good. So let's give this another flash cure. Now I'm taking the dotting tool from our kit that has almost like an almond tip to it because it has a really fine point because I want even like the smallest dots if I can. So now I'm going to try to intersect this and I realized that I probably didn't make these lines a little bit not long enough, but it's going to be okay, right? <laughs> We're going to make it okay. Okay, now this is the tricky, tricky, tricky part for me. Um, we're gonna just try to make it work. <laughs> when I did the other finger, it uh, took me a few times. So now I am joining a line from the edges to this new dot. Okay, it looks pretty good. Eureka, it's done on the first try. I'm I'm carrying this puppy right now. With the exception of my pinky because I want this crystalline shimmer to have that furry fuzzy look for my stripes candy cane. Um, I'm going to put some Clearly Frisky on here just to kind of seal the deal in because I just love how Clearly Frisky just self levels around the design and makes everything all smooth. I'm not a big fan of a the bumpy manicure. <laughs> And then we look at my pinky and there's going to be some bumpiness there but that's okay it's just my pinky don't really do what do we do with our pinkies anyways we don't really do very much and there we have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the imperfect perfect snowflake session i love the candy cane fingers they're so cute uh don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video ciao ciao for now